Money is generally a medium of exchange for goods and services. Over the years, money, referred to as cash in financial analysis, has created values in markets and in the hands of users. With the increased rate of innovations globally, towards the end of the 20th century, other means of financial transactions were discovered as banks in the Western world scrutinized and embraced the e-payment concepts. When banking institutions design the security protocol, they purely make sure, or one of their most important security criteria is to make sure that they have encoded software, encoded keys, um, in order to protect that software, be it on a magstripe basis, be it on a smart card basis, and the development of that software and its security protocol all happens on the back end uh, of their systems. The e-payment or electronic payment, as fully described, penetrating all the continental banking systems has now hit a level of demand in Africa. Recently, Nigeria's Apex Bank, Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, released the cash policy it says will drive development and modernization of payment system, reduce cost of banking services and curtail cash-related fraudulent activities. Key elements of the policy states that as an individual, the limit for daily withdrawal or deposit is 150,000 Naira. However, corporate entities have a daily limit of 1 million Naira withdrawals or deposits. A violation of this limit attracts varying charges. And to reinforce this cashless or cash light scheme, the CBN commenced the pilot operation of the policy in the commercial city of the nation, Lagos and place at a time frame of three months for the experiment. It's very obvious to everybody you know, that um, uh, the cost of managing cash is high you know, I mean, uh, with his attendance, you know, I mean, attendance you know, risks. So um, the policy you know, uh, seeks to address you know, I mean, uh, this cost you know, I mean, and of course you know, the risks associated with you know, I mean, uh, carrying cash. A cashless society, and nobody has truly a cashless society. I think there's a, a greater emphasis on using credit cards and, and, and that type of technology. Point of sale technology is very important. And we're now looking at surveillance at point of sale where we can match the account that's being used to the image of the person using it. And some banks have facial recognition software where they know who owns the account. And if you do not match that person when you are making a transaction, they can take action to retain a card or call the police or whatever in the event of an attempted fraud. So security around that is increasing. But of course, it's reliant on the fact that you need a good uh, communications infrastructure. The policy for the states that during the pilot period between January 1 and March 31, 2012, the charges for contravening the rules will not be implemented. To evaluate the performance of this scheme, Russia Web TV took a survey on the various alternatives that abound in the e-payment system. From the point of sales, POS terminals, to the check leaves, ATM cards, online transaction, and the contentious mobile money payment system. We have you know, the point of sale terminal, which is the most common. You know, I mean, you know, where with your card, you, know, you can walk into um, a, a, any outlet okay, and pay with your card. Of course, you know, I mean, we, we have the mobile phone, which is you know, uh, becoming very popular. We have the internet. And then, of course, you know, people have mentioned ATMs. ATMs you know, I mean, dispense cash, but we also know that you know, through the ATM, you know, banks can offer several other services that are not really cash-based. In abiding by the new regulations, banks and individual and corporate depositors began to practice the use of the available channels of e-payments. I think we are the first organization to go cashless. Uh, we went cashless even before CBN. Went, went cashless. We have been into e-payment uh, for the past two years now in customs and uh, I think it's a very, very, it's a very good success, success story. At least most of our transactions now outside the, the supermarket have been on, online. There are at times we just we, we pay with check. Like most times what we do now, like if you, you, you come with a with a, with an invoice that has a register admin. So we don't pay with the purposes there. We, we, we would rather pay with the register admin on the on the check. So we use the register so that once you just take it to your bank, it's gonna clear. Of course we have always been encouraged to not really carry cash around. 
You know, so you don't want to see me come to church. I want to give my my tithe, for example, and then I come to church to give it in cash. It will not happen. It's always in check. While some people see the benefits in the cash policy, I mean, thinking about it makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's something that you would expect in a developed economy. And since Nigeria is already aspiring to become a developed economy, at least, well, to become what a top 20 economy by 2020, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, in the past, you used to have uh, incidences of people traveling from the east, businessmen carrying Ghana must go, hundreds of millions of naira on night buses and cars and vehicles. But the cashless society, you know, has eliminated that or will eliminate that. And then the banks, the robbers don't have where to go again, but where the cash is kept. A number of others critique the scheme, saying the country is not ripe enough for any electronic payment system. Sometimes they will be complaining, you go to the bank, they will say no, no network. You want to make calls now, they will say no network. Um, call again, the network busy. All these complaints here and there, they are inherent in the system. All these things need to be rectified before we can talk about cashless uh, society. We will not reach that country, we will not honest like uh, this in battle. Even the ones start, they will start and they will just tell people, understand, make you know how they will do. Okay, now if I go buy uh, anything now, like uh, 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 they buy something for my hand, like one million naira, they say they no go give you. How you go do? The man you no know, get a can, you no know, go to school, you no know anything, how you go do? But the banks seem to have a sigh of relief on cash management by the new policy. I, we, we think that um, the cashless policy you know, in, you know, that um, is being implemented in Nigeria is a very laudable policy which should be supported by every well Nigerian. Critics who hold that the cash policy is too wrong for implementation now in Nigeria maintain that electricity Network failure and appropriate technology are some of the major challenges militating against the success of the CBN's cash policy. It depends on the, on the speed of the internet, like this kind of thing that doesn't require the internet to use, right? If, if the internet is not good enough, I'm not going to want to spend five more than five minutes buying fuel. So if, if it pays me better to use cash, if that's what has been working all this while. If there's a better system, they can prove that it's a better system, no problem. Uh, there are concerns in terms of infrastructure. It seems, of course, a lot uh, that needs to have been done hasn't yet been done. So really, uh, that remains a big concern for people who have to, you know, who have to carry out transactions in in um, in, in large um, amounts. Most of them are not using the right devices. Like for you to run a, a POE POS point, you need to use a very high-speed fiber optic network. Or if possible, a satellite network should be better where you don't have fluctuation due to weather or fluctuation due to congestion of the network. And when these things happen, you, you keep the customers very frustrated. We want to like make one error transaction. So we press one error. So you enter, you press the enter button. Actually, these are some of the challenges we're facing. At times, the network might fail. At times, the customer card might be damaged or something. So, of which we need to like uh, remove and and go over it again. We were told that um, there was a CBN directive, and, um, and that, that 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 is why it becomes difficult for us to access our accounts as in to see each transaction. So what they do is just that, they just accumulate the money after some, you know, some, some, some days. So they just accumulate the money and it's sent it to us. So we just um, assume that, okay, maybe when some, somebody comes to complain, we just assume, that is if we have an overbridge, we just assume that the person's money is there. So we now, we now, we now pay, not knowing that, that there were some people that had gone to, to their banks to go and complain. So after they are complained, the banks would have reversed the, the money. So it's, it's as if they are, we are now paying for what they have got, got, gotten. So in a nutshell, it's as if they, have, they went away with our, with our, our goods, without them paying. So we had to go to InterSwitch, inter, inter because it is InterSwitch that is providing the, the service. So InterSwitch Nana said, in case if there is any problem with, with the service or with the net, network, that the, the customers are to go to their banks and lay complaints. So since their money 
was deducted online, it should be reversed online. Those who hold a neutral view say more awareness is needed. I know this cashless policy of the thing um, is a new idea and uh, people are yet to, to see and uh, to realize the importance, the importance of the use of POS. There are a lot of challenges being faced by the use of POS due to the previous uh, experience on it. Um, the, the services on the POS terminals, they are not that uh, effective for now. How many of our people that have been giving proper orientation? The Ministry of uh, Orientation and National Strategy, we have not really seen it work. Many of our market women are not even, even the so-called, those of us, the educated ones, how many of us have really, really been too taught about this? POS machine we're talking about, you have to educate people on how to go about making use of it. We have, we have seen a whole lot of um, um, awareness, okay, in a minute, amongst our customers. Well, we, we, it is, in a minute, we've done several, um, um, we do, we've done several uh, town hall meetings, okay, we've organized several town hall meetings, we've engaged several stakeholders, we've also, in a minute, sent letters, SMS, you know, I mean, um, messages to our customers, you know, just to educate them, to let them know that from March 31, you know, I mean, um, if they, you know, I mean, they have issues, I mean, if they bring cash in you know, excess of uh, the limits, you know, they will be penalized. So I would say that to another extent, you know, we've done some work, and if you be reading really the papers of lately, you see that you know, I mean, almost all the banks are advertising, you know, I mean, uh, creating the necessary awareness. But just like any new scheme, you know, we believe that you know, I mean, the most people will start feeling it or will start you know, I mean, taking it more serious you know, I mean, by the time we start charging, you know, I mean, uh, by the time they will start seeing, seeing the charges. As businessmen and women appear to be coping with the challenges and the new payments and transaction options, optimists and operators express belief in the new system. Yes, for Nigeria, Nigeria is ripe. The market is huge, you know, we have a huge unserved market because right now as we speak we have uh, over 70 million belonging to the category of the unbank. These are people that hold on to cash. The volume of cash with these people is enormous and that's the reason why CBN has not even been able to capture the exact amount that moves in circulation in the informal sector. We've designed this thing to work well in the Nigerian market. And, um, and the basic point is that, you know, even though there are limitations, the system is designed to allow for these things to still work well. Nigeria cannot sit anymore and watch other people take their position. And Nigerians are ready to embrace innovation. Accept that this policy is here to stay. Accept that, look, the only way around it is to educate your people and sensitize them into now doing what they need to do to get around this policy. What churches should start doing is educating their people. Tell your people, instead of coming to church to give your offering on Sunday, you know, why not give, write a check in favor of probably the name of the, of the church, you know, that's one. Churches can start installing POS terminals. You know, in fact, my church is on to that already. You know, install POS terminals where people can just walk up there give their, you know, put in their cards there and deduct the amount they want to give as their offering for that day. InterSwitch Limited is an integrated payment and transaction company with the provision of technology platform for government, banks and corporate organizations in the country. I mean, we, we operate one of the most stable um, payment networks in Nigeria. Um, our uptime is the highest in the industry amongst all of the players. We, we maintain that stable infrastructure and we support the bank's infrastructure as well to help them maintain a high availability. The communications problem is being dealt with at the level of CBN and the aggregator, the payment aggregator. Um, we are involved in several of the committees that have been looking at um, discussing the approaches to implementing a stable QS connectivity in the, in the industry. And I think a lot of progress has been made in that regard as well. InterSwitch addresses some of the challenges experienced in the POS terminals, ATM machines and online transactions. 
think it's important first of all to understand what what the problem is. Okay. Now, um, the what you have described as over debit is probably due to a technical um, challenge during the transaction processing. Um, I'll just spend a few minutes to try and describe how that works. So when you do a transaction from a POS terminal, it goes to your account to do a debit. Okay. Sometimes it does the debit successfully, but the response doesn't get back to the, to the terminal. Now, the technology that is available in the market today is such that once that scenario occurs, the terminal will automatically reverse that transaction. So that if you wait maybe less than 24 hours, that money will automatically go back into your account. I mean, there's really no need to, um, to panic if such a scenario occurs because the system will automatically reverse the amount. Now, in the unlikely event that the reversal does not happen, there is an automated dispute management system that we've put in place that is called Abita. All you, the card holder needs to do is to basically do a report to your, to your bank and the bank will log that um, report into the automated system and the automatic reversal will be done. The mobile money payment system is another alternative to cash-based transactions. Mobile money is all about transfer of money from person to person using the mobile phone. Payment of goods and services also using the same mobile phone. Now we've discovered that um, in Nigeria as we speak, we have over 150 million belonging to the unbanked category. I mean, over 150 million as uh, the population of a country. Now you have about 70 million belonging to the unbanked category. Now with uh, about 30 million as uh, people having bank accounts. So but with mobile money, mobile money is going to change the way people do business. Um, limitations, I would say, in fact, we are designed to bypass limitations that may be obvious in other schemes. For example, with a PAGA account, you can send money to anybody doesn't matter which bank they're associated with, doesn't matter which telecom network they're associated with, right? As long as the person has a working phone number, they can receive this funds from you and are able to go cash it out at, a, at an active agent. I, I was the, the manager of the Pioneer Mobile Banking Application in Nigeria. So by experience, I've seen it all. I can tell you that people will use it. It's safe. In fact, it's safer than using the ATM card. The, 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 fraud, the fraud rate, the fraud record we had on Flashman Cash was never compared to any of the banking solutions. The mobile money transaction and transaction didn't complete. Your money will be returned back, no questions asked. Recently, stakeholders and operators staged the summits to address some of the issues in mobilizing payments through the use of mobile phones. Couldn't get the around. I saw the first one. If I want to In spite of the level of awareness on the available alternatives to cash-based transactions, the increased demands being made reveals that the regulators still have miles of orientation for depositors to cover. For example, most depositors are concerned about the place of the legal tenders in the cash policy. Will the less cash flow eliminate usual charges of COTs on current accounts at banks? And with more check leaves now in use, will there be a drop in the cost of checkbooks? Perhaps by March 31, these questions will be responded to at the end of the pilot scheme in Lagos. Good.